when I first started playing baseball, I did not start out as a shortstop. I was a pitcher, and I was an outfielder, and it wasn't until my high school sophomore year that the only reason I went out for shortstop was because there was two positions open, shortstop and center field. So I went out for shortstop. Baseball tryouts would start in, in March and typically there'd be snow on the ground, so we'd start inside. We'd take ground balls, balls skipping off the floor, I can remember that, so it was yesterday. <laughs> I remember our coach telling me that I looked like a farmer <laughs> out here the first, the way I was standing and all this stuff. I mean, he started with what you do with your feet, you go here and there, but I guess I had enough ability uh, to learn. In the fall of 1961, as Mark Belanger began his senior year at Pittsfield High School, he faced a crucial decision about his future. With several major league teams and dozens of colleges interested in signing him. But baseball wasn't Belanger's only option. To tell you the truth, I thought he uh, was a better basketball player than he was a baseball player. Described by a local sports writer as the greatest all-around basketball player he had seen in three decades, Belanger led Pittsfield High in scoring as a sophomore and Berkshire County in scoring as a junior. Mark, I felt, could have played NBA basketball. He was the best ever that I saw. Bob Cousy with the ball here, plays one of the greatest games in a brilliant career. Belanger developed his game by emulating Bob Cousy, the Boston Celtics all-pro guard. Cousy was the man. He was the standard of excellence for all, play, all guards in the 20th century particularly with his passing and his dribbling. He's famed for his long pass as he sets up shots for the boys. Mark picked up on that, and uh, you know, he worked really hard at his own game. Very athletic and quick, he could stop on a dime, could rebound, I mean, he could do it all. Beautiful block by Bellinger, wowie! Bellinger clears it to Primalani, he lays it up and in, what a play by Bellinger! He was our best defender, he was our best rebounder, he was obviously our best shooter and scorer. Wasn't our best passer, because I led the league in assists, which was very easy, because <laughs> I just passed the ball to Mark, and that was it. Tremelani ready to put it in play, bounce pass to Bellinger, baseline jump by Bellinger, it's good, he rang the bell on a pretty one. You really couldn't guard him, you had to um, prevent him from getting the ball because once he got the ball, even if you were right in his face, he was going to score. As a senior, Belanger averaged 24 and a half points per game, highlighted by a 42-point performance on the road that prompted the home crowd to give him a standing ovation. Listen to this hand, and I'll tell you, we'll join up here. What a performance by Mark Belanger. Belanger led Pittsfield High to the championship game of the Western Massachusetts Tournament, where he scored a then record 31 points. The victory qualified PHS for the New England Tournament to be played at Boston Garden. We had an hour practice in the garden the day before. And you know, you walk out there and of course you've seen games on TV and it's famous and you look around and say, holy mackerel, this is incredible that we're even here. Pittsfield's opponent in the first round was Hartford Public, the defending champion and number one overall seed. They were led by Eddie Griffin, who once scored 70 points in a game and was named second team All-American in 1962. I kind of believe that I was unstoppable. One of the factors that I could dribble the ball with either hand, and I can do things with the ball that probably at that time a lot of guys were not doing. Night of the game, the seating was, I can remember the number, 13,909. It was a full house in the old garden. We came out in the court and it was like, holy shit, look at this. You know, the place was packed. 
bands were playing and it was like, it was pretty impressive. The Langer scored PHS's first basket on a Bob Cousy style shovel shot that prompted a loud cheer from the crowd. Griffin responded by scoring on four straight possessions to give Hartford Public a 10 point lead. Being a bench jockey, which I was, I got the first hand view of it. They were going at it, basket to basket, rebound to rebound, 